All right, I've uh, got up at three o'clock this morning and made some major changes to this uh, clay. And uh, I'll be right back and tell you about it. Time to play with some clay. Well, as you can see, I've uh, attached the cowboy to the uh, base, but I didn't attach him to the side of the, of the uh, log that I was going to have him. I was going to have him on this side. And when I put him on there, I realized at some views, you wouldn't see her at all. And part of sculpting is staging like you would do if you were a, a director of a play on a stage. You'd want to have everything presented in the best way possible. And uh, so I've uh, repositioned him. I did this at 3 o'clock this morning. And I'm just, I had this idea uh, when I woke up at 3 and... Uh, it's usual for me to wake up at that time because I'm an old guy and we don't sleep all through the night like we, like we did when we were young. Anyway, um, also realized I had his head looking away from her, so I had to turn his head towards her. And that's going to change everything, including the uh, even the scarf around his neck. I'm going to have to redo that scarf. But that's okay. That's no big deal. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm not going to have much time to work on this today because I, I came down this afternoon and I had to reduce the size of the uh, base quite a bit. And uh, it used to stick out, oh, maybe another, uh, no, let's see, what is it? Uh, about four inches further front. And this guy was hanging off the back in midair and so I had to fill in behind here so that when I do the base for the sculpture I've got uh, wood underneath the base and and so that they can make a mold of everything but uh, this is the way it is right now and uh, I'm going to try to do as much today as I can but I've already spent an hour and a half working on this uh, trying to get this base worked out and it was not easy uh thank goodness i have a radial arm saw out in the porch because if i didn't have that this would have been almost impossible anyway be right back one way i keep myself in the studio and i can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh videos that i shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion okay one of the first things I need to do is build up the base around the bottom of his foot before I can do his leg again oh by the way I did didn't tell you that I I had to support this leg with a um, quarter inch uh, piece of copper tubing which is very strong uh, this aluminum wire was fine, 
but if you sneezed, the cowboy would start leaning that way or that way. So I had to keep the cowboy in one position. And the only way to do that was by adding some support to his leg. And I had to tear, tear that leg apart to uh, achieve that. So, anyway, that's uh, an explanation of what uh, I had to do. I'm going to take the guitar away for now. And I'll set it aside. I'm not worried about getting every muscle in the leg because uh, it's going to be covered in clothing and a uh, pair of uh, bat wing shafts. If you don't know what a bat wing shaft is, um, just a second. I got a picture of one around here. Well, that's not really a bat wing shaft. Uh, that's a, a wide flap of uh, leather, and that's about what I'm going to do is, is something like this as far as the uh, shaft goes. All right, I've uh, attached this bat wing. What I did is I run clay through my pasta machine, so I got an even thickness all the way along. And uh, just seeing how it looks for now, I'm gonna have to do a little more research tonight on bat wing chaps and how the top would be and how they'd attach to the uh, body. I'm going to attach this uh, one here to the uh, leg, but i got to do that off camera because I'm going to be right in front of the camera and I can't, uh, you won't see anything anyway, so I'll be right back. All right, I've uh, put the uh, parts of the shaft on that are going to have to be, and they, they're, what you do is just pull the uh, shafts up over your pants legs and they protect your pants from being ripped by a uh, um, sagebrush or different you know wood going through shrubbery and stuff like that and uh, they also keep your legs a little warm when it got a little cold Let's see what it looks like with the uh, guitar on. I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to work out. Like I said, I've got to work on his face and head a little bit yet. But I'll do that uh, at another time. All right, everybody, that's going to be, have to be it for tonight. And uh, I'll be back uh, manana. As the Cowboys would say, adios, amigos. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.